The 02W is a $15 computer. Realistically, it's going to be a bit more expensive, as you will need some accessories, add shipping and local taxes. And it packs a punch for these $15. Most notably, it's 5 times faster than the previous 0W. Before I show you the accessories, let's take a deep dive on its features and ports. The 02W has the usual 40-pin GPIO header for Raspberry Pi heads. You will need to solder it yourself, or you can pick up a 02WH with pre-soldered header from us. The link is in the description. Then we've got the microSD card slot. The most recent Raspberry Pi OS is already compatible with a 02W. If you already have a microSD card with a system on it and it doesn't work, you will probably need to upgrade it. Check out our blog post on pycockpit.com, how to upgrade Raspberry Pi OS to work with a 02W, a normal size HDMI port doesn't fit on the Raspberry Pi 02W. To keep compatibility with the previous zero generation, Raspberry Pi is continuing to use a mini HDMI port here. The Pi 4, as most of you probably will know, uses micro HDMI ports. Thus, adapters you bought for your Pi 4 or Pi 400 will not work with a 02W. This means another adapter or a special mini HDMI cable for most people. There are two micro USB ports here. One is for the data, that's the one which says USB next to it. This is a USB 2.0 port. And the other one is for plugging in the power supply, it says PWR in. There's a couple of interesting points to mention here, especially to people who haven't used the 0W before. The obvious one is that you can't plug in a normal USB device into such a port. You got to use, you've guessed it, another adapter. A USB OTG adapter cable. OTG, by the way, is just short for on the go. This will give you a full-size USB port. So far, so good. But did you know that you can actually also use the 02 as a USB device itself? I'll talk about some projects which do this later in the video. The cool thing is that you will then only have one cable for data and power. Next up, we have the camera port. Using this, you can attach a Raspberry Pi original camera or any other Raspberry Pi compatible camera. Since the Raspberry Pi engineers had to cram that port in there, you've got to use an adapter cable for it. By the way, there's no display port on the Pi 02W, as on its bigger siblings. Simply no space. Also, we don't have an Ethernet port. There's only wireless networking on the Raspberry Pi 02W. Let's talk about this. The 02W has WLAN 802.11 BGN. It's 2.4 GHz WLAN, no 5 GHz on the Zero series. If you need 5 GHz WLAN, you'll have to use an external Wi-Fi adapter, or you'll have to switch to the Pi 4. It also has Bluetooth 4.2 and Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE. This is an upgrade which allows up to 2.5 times faster communication over the Low Energy link. The 02W uses the same tried-and-true PCB trace antenna design. Right next to it is a landing pad for a U.FL connector. We are probably going to see some modifications with an external antenna as soon as the 02W is in the hands of people who are wizards with a soldering iron. Finally, the WLAN chip is inside a metal shield. This is important for so-called modular certification. So for companies who want to use the Raspberry Pi 02W inside their own products. This allows companies to spend less money and time on getting the products certified in international markets. If you want to use a Raspberry Pi 02W inside your product, please talk to us. We can support you with this. Let's take a closer look at the brains of a 02W. The RP3A0-AU. After the Pico, this is the second chip to bear the Raspberry Pi logo. Many of you have heard the term SOC, System on a Chip. The Pi 02W is a so-called SIP, a system in package. You see, the 02W doesn't have enough space to host an extra RAM chip next to the CPU. On the previous 0W, the RAM was sitting on top of the SOC in a so-called 
pop, package on package. In the case of a 0.2w, Raspberry Pi have designed a custom package for these two silicon chips, where the RAM is sitting on top of a SoC. And this is where the gold comes in. The AU in the name of a chip, RP3A0-AU, stands for Aurum, Latin for gold. Raspberry Pi wanted to make sure that the chips are very durable. So they went for gold instead of copper for the connections between the RAM and the SOC. So indeed, there is a tiny amount of gold in each Pi 02W. Remember I told you that the new Raspberry Pi 02W is five times faster? The same SOC which is used in Raspberry Pi 3 Model B is used in the 02. We are speaking about four Cortex-A53 cores. This allows you to get a feeling for the power of a new chip. On a side note, the Pi 3B will still be a bit faster than the 02, at least if you don't overclock the 02. This is due to better thermal management on the Pi 3B. On the newer 3B models, a metal enclosure is used for the chip, allowing heat to dissipate more effectively. If you are looking for maximum power out of a Raspberry Pi, for example to run it as desktop replacement, you should choose the Pi 4 series instead, which is about twice as fast as the Pi 02 and of course has other nice features, like USB 3. All this additional CPU power of a 02W comes in handy when using Raspberry Pi OS. It boots up significantly faster, about three times faster, applications start faster and the whole interface feels snappier. It's also great when you're using the Raspberry Pi 02 as the brains of your project, whether it's a robot or a motion detection system, a small Pi hole server or whatever. The SOC's GPU is of course the tried and true Video Core 4, which gives you butter smooth full HD 1080p video playback. Let's not beat around the bush and get to the biggest disappointment on the 02W. The RAM is still 512 megabytes. Reason for this is simple. One gigabyte of RAM physically doesn't fit in a single plane in the new package and would have to be stacked. Doing a third layer in the package would have been much more expensive, and thus we wouldn't have had a $15 02W. Remember, Raspberry Pi really cares about price and affordability of its products, so they go for compromises. The limited RAM is the biggest downside of a 02W in my opinion. I'll discuss in a little bit what it means for applications running on the 02. Let's turn the Pi 02W over to inspect the back. There are no electronic components here on the back of a 02W. That's what helps drive its splice down after all. But there are still a couple of interesting other things. There is a data matrix code here. This is the 02W CPU serial number. Again, this is a feature most likely to be of interest to industrial users who want to identify the 02W in the field. Also there are these solder test points, many of which have little inscriptions next to them. We have several ground test points, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 1.8 volts, USB DP and DM, which are the two differential USB 2.0 data lines. Also we have TV, which is the composite video output, and run. Connect run to a ground pin to reset Raspberry Pi. Previously, these were available on unpopulated headers on the 0W, but on 02W they had to move them to the back because of space constraints. This concludes our tour of a board itself. To sum up, the biggest change is the increased CPU performance. Five times faster than the 0W if you are able to use all four cores in your application. Remember, some applications can only make use of one core at the same time. But Linux will at least be able to run other processes on the other cores, so there is definitely a boost there. The biggest downside is still only 512 megabytes of RAM. Finally, the 02W has some changes which are useful for companies building it into their products.